That was a good session. Um, mostly arms and chest today with a nice little run back in the rain to finish it all off. Um, I've taken it very steady, this exercise, following my op in November. Uh, I lost two stone in weight. I might show you some images, actually. Maybe. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll show, I could show you images of where I was to where I am now. The one thing that I haven't told you, of course, is that not only did they remove the tumour, but they also removed the appendix. They always do that. And part of my bowel as well. So they had a good route around there, took what they could. <laughs> so what I wanted to just quickly show you today was uh, how I experiment with smoothies and juices. You know already that largely my diet at the moment is fruit and veg. Um, that is mostly because I want to cleanse the body as much as I possibly can, remove it of toxins. Uh, I'll be doing a liver flush maybe today, don't know yet. Uh, and I'm only saying that with hesitancy because I really don't like doing it, it's horrible. What I have learnt recently is that obviously not only do you want to cleanse and clean out the liver and the kidneys, but also the lymph. If your lymph uh, system is not uh, working correctly, then it's not transporting uh, the dead cells, the, uh, the toxic elements in the body, in the blood, it's not transporting it out of the body. So you do need a really good, well-functioning uh, lymph that includes unblocked lymph nodes. You don't know whether you have blocked lymph nodes, although I think there are signs. Uh, if you look it up, there are indications that would suggest that you do. Um, either way, my protocol right now is very much about cleansing. Now, as a slight aside, part of it, uh, which I do recommend, is um, organic broccoli sprout juice. I get mine from Avocado Ninja. I think they're one of the only places that actually sell them. Uh, these guys are really good, by the way. I know the CEO, uh, really nice guy. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, but I would recommend having a look at their website, avocadoninja.co.uk. All manner of biohacking stuff as well as supplementation. He's written a good couple of books as well uh, that would give you really helpful advice about how to um, uh, move through the day as a morning routine, various different nutritional elements. He's been experimenting on his own. Uh, body for some years just like me. But these make me feel really good. The great thing about broccoli sprout juice is it has a shed load, you thought I was going to say something else, uh, a shed load of sulforaphane. Uh, this effectively packs a punch equivalent to about 2.6 kilograms of broccoli if you were to eat that much. That's quite a lot. The sulforaphane will have an incredible uh, effect on the system at a cellular level and you will feel an increase in energy. So give these a go. Now, aside from that, uh, I am experimenting as well with wheatgrass. I hadn't done it before. Now, I re learned recently that that may not be the right way to go uh, with cancer, but we'll see. I may do some more research on that. Uh, vitamin B12, of course. I'm lacking vitamin B12 because I'm not eating any meat. Um, so I do use these uh, B12 boosts and patches as well. I'm not going to show you the rest of my supplement stack because it's too many at the moment. Maybe I'll take you through it some other time. I could do a special video on medicinal mushrooms. I think I will do that. But let's talk smoothies. What am I going to do today? So <laughs> this one, I mean, experimentation is the key. You know, it's the key to life. If I'm honest, the more you play and experiment with this thing called life, the more fulfillment I think you will gain. And so I've not tried this particular concoction, but it's kind of roughly the kind of stuff I would normally put in there. Sometimes I've experimented with almond milk. I think with almond milk, you do need to be fairly careful. Uh, a lot of them come with extra nasties. Um, I found one that is 
almonds, water, salt. Um, so yeah, I mean, with anything, you've got to be careful, haven't you? Let's face it, anything has the potential to be toxic. But what's interesting is that us humans have evolved to eat. We are omnivores. We have evolved to eat pretty much anything. And so as a consequence, I think so long as you don't overdo one particular type food type, then you're going to be okay. Now, saying that, I'm now going to counter that, that and contradict that. Uh, somebody very close to me um, has been carnivore for the last year and a half, two years, for most of that time eating only organic lamb chops, breakfast, lunch, supper, and she is flourishing. She looks amazing and she's doing really, really well. So I don't think there is an absolute to this when it comes to nutrition. There isn't one thing that everybody should do. We are all different. Uh, I've mentioned, I think in maybe my videos, maybe I haven't, I am, uh, I have an atopic tendency, which means that I have, you know, uh, a slight tendency towards allergies, uh, which also means when you do the research, um, that my digestive system finds it harder to digest red meat in particular, but, but sort of any meat. So I need to be careful about how much meat I think I should consume. Now at the moment, it's purely veg, not purely, it is veg and fruit 95% of the time, occasionally the odd egg. But I think that will probably change as I, as I go further down this path. Anyway, stop talking, Dave. Let's give this a go. Mmm. Oh, that's good. The one thing that I've learned throughout the whole journey that I've been on recently, but also previously, go with what feels right. The more you can develop that inner intuition, the inner wisdom, it's harder for us men to do that. Women have a natural predetermination to have a better connection with that inner wisdom. Um, but men can develop it. It takes time, it takes practice. The more we trust this message, the more we're going to lean in and learn and listen to it. So um, uh, I think, especially when it comes to um, nutrition, go by what feels right at the time. This feels right. <laughs> anyway, go well, folks. Have a good day. Bye.